Hello, my name is Isabel Mast, and I'm a rising junior here at the University of Delaware majoring in animal bioscience. This summer, I had the opportunity to envision myself as a scientist through the Envision program at our College of Agricultural and Natural Resources. I worked with my amazing mentor, Dr. Adita Dutta, in his lab studying chicken genetics to help reach our college's goal and motto, feed the world, protect the planet. As the world's population continues to grow, it's crucial to find sustainable practices to feed people while also protecting the environment. To do this, the agricultural industry is constantly seeking ways to increase production while limiting its environmental impact. One method for achieving this is by increasing the number of chicks broiler breeders can produce. Broiler breeders are hens that lay eggs for meat producing chickens. If we can increase the number of chicks these hens produce, we can increase the amount of chicken available for human consumption without a need to increase the number of broiler breeders. This in turn helps limit the environmental impact of the broiler industry. So how do we achieve this? We can increase the number of chicks produced by broiler breeders by increasing the number of eggs they lay within a given time frame. To fully understand egg production, we need to look at its origin and developmental progression within the ovary and ovarian follicles. In laying hens, like broiler breeders, the ovary undergoes a sequential follicular development process. This process includes the primordial, primary, pre-recruitment, and pre-ovulatory stages. The transition from the pre-recruitment stage to the pre-ovulatory stage is particularly critical for success or ovulation and ultimately for efficient egg production. Next, we try to understand the genetic differences between egg layer hen follicles and broiler hen follicles that account for the different rates of egg lay, about 300 per year for the egg laying hens versus half of that for the broiler hens. To achieve this, we compared the pre-recruitment and pre-ovulatory ovarian follicles of broiler breeder hens to those of egg layer hens. By doing this, we can compare the genes and signaling factors across the follicles for the two hen types. Through analysis of the differentially expressed genes among our sample groups, we are working to determine the master regulators that govern the process of ovarian follicle development in the laying hen in order to account for the different rates of egg lay. The insights gained from comparing these genetic profiles will allow us to develop strategies to increase egg production in broiler hens, directly supporting the goal of sustainable animal agriculture. This research is fundamental in developing more efficient breeding programs that help us feed a growing population. To learn more about this research project and others like it, please visit the Dutta Laboratory website at www.duttalab.org.